you're seeing, right? You've got a, a free burner wok there. Is that a pizza oven? Yes, that's my pizza oven and the wok. Okay. I love it, Chef. Right, Shelly, how can you cook soul food in a wok? Watch me, Chef. Watch me. Soul food is supposed to be cooked slowly. Soul is cooked with love and soul, not in a wok. Shelly's cooking green beans in a wok, cooking rice in a wok, cabbage in a wok. We're not a Chinese soul food restaurant. We don't need a wok, OK? That's the first of me, a southern food restaurant with a Chinese wok and a pizza oven. And you have an oven that doesn't work right there. Tell me what's working, apart from you. <laughs> we haven't had correct working ovens. We don't have the correct stoves, the correct fryers, grills. You know, how can we produce really great food if we don't have really great ovens? How do you manage to fry everything in one fry like that? Very hard. A lot of prayer. After discovering unusual and dysfunctional equipment in this soul food restaurant, Chef Ramsay turns his attention to Shelley and how she runs her kitchen. Fried chicken, please. How many white meats do you need? Fried chicken, Mateen. Well, I'm going to call the artist. You can't call Honey, the artist. do your chicken. I'm do doing this. It. Let's get one thing straight. OK. Can you please work on ticket one? We are. Are we? I mean, I don't understand what you're okay, doing. You're walking uh... in damn circles. Shelly has no concept of what it means to actually run a proper, functional kitchen. Portia, one ticket at a time I need you to do Shelly, for me. that's I, what I, I'm, I'm doing. OK, just one. Just do one. That's, what, that's how I do, one. Just make it and send it. That's it. Make it and send it. Unbelievable. And where's the control, the chef, the, the system? What, what system are we following here? It's like there's no system. I mean, this is a joke. If you try to get one, she wants to argue you down. You know, she wants to argue you down and make it seem like you're the one that's wrong, or it can't be run like that. But it's not making or it's, sense. Or it's too Look at that down there. Look down there. Yeah, it's like, you one, know, two, three. Six down there. I want you guys off the line. Just go. Watch out. Just back up. It's getting ridiculous get already. It's been an hour and a half. She just kind of want to get up and move. How long are we waiting, Dwayne? Close to an hour. An hour. my first time in here, and it's just dysfunctional. There doesn't seem to be one person controlling it. I have the recipe. I'm the exec. Oh, my Shit. god! Shelly thinks she knows what she's doing when she actually has no idea what she's doing. We need a miracle, a prayer, hands on bending knees, because this is going to the shits. Here we go, fried chicken. Despite the ongoing chaos in the kitchen, dishes somehow make their way to the dining room. And that's the result. You wait 90 minutes, and this is what you're lucky to get. It's crazy in there. Huh? huh? It's crazy in there. Always. In yes. there's a war zone. Always. Huh? Always. Welcome to Blackberry. Step brand. That's it, hell. What a welcoming. Okay, you're welcome. So, steakhouse. Oh, dear. No porterhouse, no New York, no rump. There's only two cuts of steak. Two steaks on the menu in a steakhouse. It should be minimum eight to ten. How are you? Welcome to PJ's. My name's Carlin. Well, thank you. How are you? Doing great. Thank you for Good joining us. So I'll start with crab cakes. Then maybe the shrimp and roasted garlic ravioli. And then I'll have the filet mignon with the uh, gorgonzola demi glace. All right. I'll go put this in for you. Thank you, Colin. No problem. I know Eric's a good chef, so what's to be nervous about? What do you order? Crab cakes, plus filet mignon with gorgonzola, medium rare, and a shrimp ravioli. Right down. I just love what I do. This is perfect. My food is good, and if he critiques it like I've seen him critique other people's food, I'm going to probably throw it at him. <laughs> what is that? The crab cake. Somebody spit on my plate? What is that on there? That's coolie mango sauce. Oh, coolie mango. Thank you. Is that something out of the Modern Art Museum? Splat. OK. Wow, that's fucking disgusting. He's rancid. Mm. Plastic bits of crap running through the crab cakes. Is everything OK? Uh, yeah, the chef sent out a little surprise. I've got bits of plastic running through there. See the plastic? I don't know where it came from, but it's definitely in there. But I I'm done with that. Thanks. OK. Severe warning for what's to come. Eric? You found a piece of plastic in there. Where's that from? I don't know, man. Fuck him. I have no idea where that plastic came from. Just happened to appear. I don't even have plastic in my kitchen. 
The owner sat at the bar watching television. And they wondering why they're not doing well. Hi. Is that Joe's seat there at the end? Yes. All the time. He'll sit there most of the night. Oh, dear. Joe does need to get off his ass and start paying attention. Oh, here's my food. Fantastic. Let me, let me leave you alone to eat, right? Madam, thank you. Lovely. Thank you. So. How'd you like the steak? Um, quite tough. Are they always served with raw onions, or...? Yeah. Nah. Thank you. My pleasure. Uh, you said the beef's a little tough. Get the fucking thing out of here. There's nothing positive being said. I don't really suck that bad, you know? Go, dear. That looks like the biggest pile of shit ever to be served in Queens. My God. The raviolis are disgusting, tart, tannin, and just a mouthful of acidic, thick, rich, creamy sauce that tastes like there's a buzz in your mouth. It just seemed like Chef Ramsay didn't like anything. Excuse me. Oh, God. Oh, dear. This is really bad. I can really start to understand to why Queens is running as fast as it can from PJs. Brilliant. Table side Caesar in the north end of Boston, right? Yep. Are you going right to the very basics? You got an egg yolk there as well? Egg yolk, yeah. garlic, anchovies. Wow. Who would ever thought I'd be making a Caesar for Gordon Ramsay? I love doing the Caesar salad, so I put a lot of enthusiasm into it. Two tons. Salat to Caesar. OK, great. Thank you. Very good. Have you just washed that salad? Yes. You just washed it then? Yep. Because it's soaking wet. So all the dressings just run off it because the lettuce is soaking wet. To dress a Caesar salad, the salad has to be crisp but dry. So you've made all that freaking work for nothing. Oh, my god. Eight minutes for nothing. Kim, you think he's going to like the food? I think so. Frank is so defeated right now that he's lost the confidence in himself as a chef and in his abilities. The eggplant is in the window when he gets out, Andrew. The addiction, what was it? Painkillers. Painkillers? Yeah. Oh, I see it's heroin. Heroin. Really never been in trouble with the law before that. No. no. First time happened to be the Fed. Now, how long do you spend inside? Uh, almost four years. And you've been clean for how long now? Almost two years. That's fantastic. Yeah. Two years clean. Brilliant. Yeah, it's nice. Here we have the eggplant, the votini di Molanzane. Thank you. Strange. Mm hmm. It's a bit soggy. Hasn't been fried or cooked long enough. No. Yeah. It's really spongy and horrible. Are they frozen? No, no, that's fresh. When were they done? This morning. Really? Will you just check if that was done this morning? Because it tastes like it was done last sure. week. What's up, Frank? Thank you. Frank, what? You said this was spongy? What was? When were they cooked? When were they made? Uh, he asked me if they were frozen. I said, no, they're not. Three weeks ago. Yeah, there's a patch of freezer. They don't make them too hard every day. I got to tell him. I can't make eggplant to order. That's impossible. I don't have time. You gotta say what they uh, what they think. Unless he has a new method, I don't know about. His method's gonna be he's gonna get here at eleven in the morning. <laughs> That's what the method is, Frank. Well, it's impossible to be here at eleven in the morning. No, it's not, Frank. Frank is a very lazy cook. He doesn't even fry the eggplants anymore. My mother and father end up frying it. Ridiculous. I'm eggplant made yesterday. It was actually made three weeks ago. Yep. Three weeks ago? Yep. That's disgusting. Do you go grocery shopping three weeks in advance before you're going to eat the, the stuff? No.